And now, your first alert five weather. Let's start with a couple of viewer photos of the full moon last night as it was rising by Daniel Forrester. He always captures great photos. And when it was high in the sky late at night from Lori, uh, it was a beautiful full moon. It did set this morning and it should still look just as full tonight. It might technically even be full tonight, but looks the same in the next couple of days. 87 was our high in Pueblo yesterday and it was 79 in Colorado Springs. We got a little bit of rain in each city and overall it was just a nice break from summer heat. That all goes away today. We'll have sunshine and hot temperatures this afternoon. It's 61 in Colorado Springs right now. You can see a nice, beautiful blue sky waking up today, 87% humidity. And it's a little humid still this morning, but quickly winds will be pushing out that humid air and replacing it with dry air. 60 degrees right now in Pueblo, 90% humidity. We'll rise to 95 today in Pueblo and 91 in Colorado Springs. So we're rising right back to above average conditions after yesterday was cooler than average and it's because high pressure is going to start to take over and the next couple of days it will remain stagnant and our weather pattern is not going to change through most of next week so you'll notice lots of sunshine in place with that high pressure system nearby and rising temperatures going to take advantage of some of the limited moisture still left over with really just our far southern counties expecting to see an afternoon thunderstorm today. So between Trinidad, Wilsonburg and Springfield, you could see a rumble of thunder later this afternoon. Everybody should be quite breezy today, especially in the mountains and for I-25. And it's this westerly wind that's going to push out any humidity and start to dry us out and will remain dry for the next couple of days. So maybe run the humidifier at night if you're feeling a little scratchy throat in the morning. Now temperatures right now are in the 50s and 60s. We're warming up pretty nicely and we're gonna see a nice boost of heat through the rest of the day. And our mountain valleys will be to the 80s, will be to the 90s for most of the plains zones or at least near 90. So zooming in here in the Pikes Peak region, still a little cooler in Teller County to the 70s, up to 91 in the Springs and Fort Carson and 87 for Monument today. And then along Highway 50, 96 in Avondale and Boone and 93 in Pueblo West today. So we are in it for the long haul for the next few days. We've got the sunshine, so you definitely need to be applying sunscreen when you're heading outside as that UV index will be high. Tonight we'll drop to the 50s and 60s. Then tomorrow we're gonna see very similar temperatures, but we'll see a couple more triple digits possible in the Eastern Plains. And then our heat will peak on Tuesday. We'll slowly cool down by the end of the week and into early next weekend with a cold front on the way by next weekend, tracking that one closely. And for Pueblo, you're looking dry in the next seven days, near 100 by Tuesday. So the low 90s will feel like a relief by next Saturday. For Canyon City, mid 90s for you for the week ahead. A couple chances of isolated thunderstorms on Thursday and Saturday. And finally for Woodland Park, you'll be near 80 today, solid into the 80s through next week and I'm still looking at a chance of thunderstorms to wrap up the week ahead. Renee? You know, Alex, pretty soon the pools are gonna close and we're gonna have 80 and 90 degree weather and no way to cool off. I think I'm gonna buy a sprinkler system and just put it out somewhere. <laughs> well, do you remember last Labor Day, just the day after Labor Day, we had snow. Oh so, my goodness, I do remember that. Yeah. Oh my, well, <laughs> you're thinking, you know, hey, we won't be hot much longer then. Possibly. Yeah, it, <laughs> anything can happen here. That's so true. Alex, thank you.